Listen, folks. Revelation 7, 3. At the end time, the crisis will be over worship and receiving the sign of God or the sign of the beast. By the, by the way, the beast will use economic boycott. You know what that is? Economic boycott. The Bible says in Revelation that you will not be able to buy or to sell. That's easy today. If they would cancel your credit cards and your bank's account, you cannot buy and sell. You are done. Unless you have a garden as I do. Or Judy. Then you are fine. Okay. <clears throat> God's name and number. Listen, the seal has three things. What does it have? The name. What else? Territory and authority. Okay. God is the name. What is the territory? Heaven and earth and what is under earth. He says in the fourth, remember the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day, to, you know. Because in six days, God, the name, created heaven and earth and sea and things under. Okay? What is the territory? Universe. Everything that he created. <clears throat> Listen carefully. You should not work the beast says that you cannot buy or sell unless you have the mark. They go parallel. Okay, I think we are finishing with this part. Let me read a few things to you and then we move. God's name appears in the Sabbath commandment. The beast name appears in the mark of the beast. God's number, seven day, appears in the Sabbath. The beast number, six Pierce 666 in the beast mark. God's seven-day Sabbath is a day of rest. The mark of the beast will restrict work. You cannot work, so you have to rest. The seven-day Sabbath prov provides economic release. The mark of the beast uses economic force. The seven-day Sabbath is an invitation from the creator to rest. The mark of the beast is restless rebellion against creator being enforced by law. The seven-day Sabbath restores and refreshes people, changes people. Those who receive the mark of the beast in Revelation 14, 11, they will never have rest. By the way, do you know that it says in Revelation 14 that they don't have Sabbath? In the translation from Greek, it doesn't say that they don't have rest. It says they don't have Sabbath. The Sabbath is more than just a day. It is a symbol between God and his people. As we know from history, from the Bible, Christians replaced the worship of the sun with the worship to God. But they didn't change the day of the pagans. They replaced Sabbath for God to Sunday for worshiping the sun. Listen carefully. The beast is asking for commitment by regulating and enforcing, enforcing worship. As the mark of the beast is placed on the foreheads, obviously, obviously those who receive the symbol, the mark, they are protected by the beast. And those who don't receive, they are protected by God. In the original Greek, it's about protection and loyalty. Pressure will count over those who are loyal to God. There will be economic boycott. There will be persecution. Those who don't worship the beast would suffer economic consequences. Those who don't know God, they will not stand. I want you to know that there are people who talk about the mark of the beast as being the social security number, as being a chip that they implant in your hand, as being the credit cards. That's foolishness. It's all symbols, talking about the law of God and the law of the beast. So don't listen. Some people even claim that Ronald Reagan was the beast and had the mark of the beast. Don't, don't listen to those things. So, origin of the beast from the land in Revelation 13, 11. An image, does it have breath? An image. Now, it says here that the beast gave breath 
to the image. That means that the beast that was dead by now, it's active and alive again. You follow me? It gave breath. It used the word used at creation when Jesus got over Adam and gave him breath. It means that the power, and we'll talk very soon and you'll see what power is that. We talk about U.S. Would give power, would give breath to the beast who was dead. And then the beast would be active again. Okay. <clears throat> William Johnson says, let us frankly acknowledge that the full understanding of the fulfillment of this prophecy still awaits us. You